Pharaohs or other very important people in ancient Egypt would have something called a cartouche. So a cartouche was an oval shaped nameplate. They would have their name in hieroglyphics on the cartouche. A cartouche could be read up and down or it could be read from left to right. The cool thing about the cartouche is that everyone's would look a little different. Although the ancient Egyptians have obviously died out, we can still find some of their oldest temples in Egypt. Today we're gonna watch a quick little video on ancient Egypt and then we will fill out a KWL, but some of it you have to fill out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how. Uh, you should have a pencil. I'm gonna use a pen just cause it's a little bit hard to see on the camera today. And then also you're gonna need a note card in front of you. So I'm gonna go ahead and write my name. So I'm gonna write Mr. Boatfield cause that's my name. But if you have your own name, go ahead and write that please. And then right next to your name, if you could please write your class code. I will pause the video now and write our class code on the board so that you can have it. Okay, so what you need to do first is we're actually going to split up our, the bottom of our note card into three little sections. So we're gonna do what's called a KWL. It's called know, want to know, and learn. So I'm gonna put a K here, a W here, and an L here. So what this is, is you are going to write one thing that you know about ancient Egypt. It could be something that I talked about in class. It could be something that you already know on your own. And then you're going to uh, give me one question that you have about ancient Egypt. It could be anything. It could be, why do they bury their dead in tombs? Did they live in the desert? Why do they build pyramids? It could really be anything. And then after the video, we'll write one thing we learned. So maybe that thing that you learned answered your question. We'll see. So here's what I have so far. This is K as in no. I know Egypt is in Africa. So that's my fact that I know. And then my W is why did the pharaohs make tombs? So that was my question is why do they make tombs when they die? Now the L, you won't have anything until after the video because you're gonna write down one thing you learned. Before you answer these two questions or fill out these two parts, I want you to talk to a neighbor. What's one thing you know about Egypt? What's one thing you want to know? It could be anything. Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video. I'm gonna start a new video on Egypt and then we will fill out the L together. Okay, so we should have watched the video. Go ahead and fill this one out. The L, one thing that you learned. When you are done, give me a thumbs up and I will pick this up and we will move on to our art. So we should have our pendants back. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make the string for your pendant today. You're gonna find this crazy random box full of different types of yarn and string on the middle table. Hopefully you added a hole into your pendant so that you could put one of these necklaces. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can cut your string because we actually need to cut it the same length. You don't wanna cut it too short, otherwise it won't really fit. So the box is in front of me. I'm gonna choose this green one just because I like it. I'm gonna put the camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So the entire length of the side of this table, so I'll show you what that looks like. The side right here or even the other side, this is the perfect length for a necklace. So I'm gonna use this to cut my string. So I will take the string, I'm gonna go ahead and unwind it, and then I'm going to basically use my brain and measure the length of the end of the table. I'm gonna hold that part with the thumb and then cut and put your scissors back into this little tub. Make sure you put the yarn back where it went. And then this is your piece. So I'll call tables to come up and get their string. You can choose any color. Once you have your string, go ahead and go back to your table and then show me you're ready by giving me a lazy thumbs up. So now I have everything I need in front of me. I'm gonna show you how to do a really simple and easy knot so that you can wear this around your neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pendant. I'm gonna try to get the string through, but notice I'm having 
some issues maybe. Maybe it's not going through. Now, if yours isn't like mine where it's not going all the way through or you're having trouble, I will provide those needles again. So what you can do is if it's just not going through or the hole's too small, take the needle and try to see if you can kind of stab it in there. And hopefully it should pop out the other side. You may have to go uh, try again and again, but that's okay. So I'm gonna try one more time to kind of get it through. I have to look at it really close. I feel like I'm going blind. I'm staring at it so much, but you gotta try to get it through that area. So I finally got it through. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it through the other side. And now I have a unknotted necklace. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to knot it. I do it my way. If you have your own way of doing this, go for it. You don't even need to ask me. It's just, just do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make an X with the top parts of my yarn. I'm gonna pull one under so it looks like this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make a circle though. I'm gonna make an X with a little circle on the bottom and then pull underneath one more time. Hold all four parts and pull. That will make a really easy knot and then this will be the perfect size to go around a fifth grade size neck. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called Mod Podge. This Mod Podge will make your cartouche necklace so shiny but it also protects it because the paint that we're using is not the best paint. Um, it's, got, it's called temper paint, so it can wash off. We wanna kind of seal it all in and protect it. So what you're gonna need is a placemat. You're gonna need your cartouche. You're going to need one of these little cups full of Mod Podge. You're gonna take it with you. You're also gonna need a cup of water nearby. And this is a really easy step and it will help protect your necklace. You're just gonna open it up, take a paintbrush, dip it inside. It looks like glue. It looks like it's gonna show up like white glue, but it dries clear and then it dries shiny. These are gonna look so shiny when they're done. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the front of this. You don't need to paint the back. Just leave that alone. Just paint the front with this and then it'll look a little weird at first, but in the end it will look so shiny and cool. The most important part is when you are done, please make sure that your lid is back on the Mod Podge. You can return it to the back counter and then make sure that your paintbrush goes into a water cup very quickly. Otherwise it'll dry out the paintbrush and I won't be able to get it back. Then I will return the Mod Podge where I found it. I will take my necklace on top of the placemat and I will put this on the back counter to dry. By the time class is over, this will be super shiny and super awesome. I'll show you what it looks like when this one's all dry. So now it's been about 30 minutes and my cartouche is mostly dried. What I want you to notice is how awesome and shiny it is now. It really does kind of look like it's made of metal, which is going to be really awesome. I'm so excited to see what you're going to make today.